What is going on guys welcome back to the channel 1.1 for withering waves is coming in about a week and uh, so far a lot of people are wondering if it's worth uh, summoning for yin lin right now or waiting for jin shi or chang li whenever they come out so that is what we're going to be discussing in this video as always if you like this type of content let me know by liking the video leaving a comment in the comment section below and consider subscribing to the channel without further ado let's get right into it the first character i'm going to be talking about is going to be yin lin primarily is because primarily because this is a character that i decided to pull for in my account because i decided to main Kalcharo on this account and she is pretty much her or Kalcharo's best partner. She buffs his electro damage and buffs his, buffs his resonance liberation damage as well. So my Kalcharo ends up doing a lot of damage, especially when packed up with Varina's uh, damage amplification damage bonus. So I'm going to take this as a segue to talk about uh, Chang Li's and Jin Shi's tags. These things right here, electro damage amplification and resonance liberation damage amplification, those are tags. And we have, uh, <clears throat> and we have gotten leaks about what Chang Li's and Jin Shi's tags are. I'm gonna put them on the screen. So for Chang Li, she is going to be a main damage dealer. She's going to deal resonance scale damage, and but she's also going to be doing fusion damage bonus and resonance liberation damage boost. So technically she's going to have the same two tags that Yin Lin has, but for fusion, which means characters like Shisha and characters like Encore are going to receive a really, really good buff. And for the longevity of any game, you're going to want to watch out for characters that buff and have like these damage amplifications that have some sort of uh, supportive capabilities because they're going to boost your overall team performance in the long run. So off the cuff, Yin Lin and Chang Li have way more utility than Jin Shi will ever have. However, Yin Shi is, uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about Yin Shi, but as far as uh, Yin Lin, right? Yin Lin has proven to be one of the better characters that I have in my account. Probably the best, uh, uh, not because I have the most investment probably on her. Mine is not even that well built, like 1600 attack, 67 crit rate, 207 crit damage. I have her in a mixed set of attack and electro, mainly because I can't get stupid bursts without have electro. And uh, I'm mainly trying to focus on crit rate, crit damage. And yeah, she's been proven to be really, really strong in my account. Now, again, this is the case for me because I decided to main Kalcharo. If you are the type of player that decided to main Encore, then Chung Lee is probably going to be a very, very strong pick for you because not only she's going to be dealing a bunch of damage herself, she's also going to help your Encore deal a lot of damage or a lot of extra damage, especially if you have another character like Verena right here that you can just come like pretty much the same thing, but instead of Kalcharo, you have Encore and then instead of Yin Lin, you have Chang Li. So you essentially you can mix and match that however you want. So when evaluating a character's kit and a character's pull value, I really, really uh, urge you guys to look at the tags that the characters have right here. And you can access this by going on the team screen. You go, you click start, go on the team screen, click on whichever, and it's going to pretty much show you what the tags are that your characters are going to be doing. Now switching gears, talking a little bit more about Jin Shi and Chang Li. They did get a little bit of a rework, not a rework, it's more of Jin Shi got a little buff and then Chang Li, uh, she just got a little bit of stuff added into her kit. So shout out to Tracer4B over at Reddit. Jin Shi's Forte Circuit, now her basic attack and incarnation state are now considered as skill damage. So characters like Taoki that buff skill damage are actually going to be really, really good, really, really strong with Jinchi, her max incandescent stacks are increased from 40 to 50 which means that you can't just do the two switch outs and switch ins just to get the 20 and 20 and max it out at 40 you're gonna have to have Jinchi on the field for a little bit longer but it also doesn't matter because she gets more ways of getting the incandescent stacks uh with this new eras in unity uh rework when dealing damage Jinchi gains one stack of incandescence damage of the same element can trigger once every three seconds oh my god and when coordinated attacks deal damage Jinchi gains two stack of incandescence damage of the same element can trigger this once every three seconds so when they say the same element they mean from a spectro so having her with Verena is going to be really really nice and the really big one is going to be the incandescent stacks additional multiplier per stack increase from 26 to 44 this is a huge massive astronomical nuclear buff that she just got with this uh this is the damage amplification per stack this is times 50 so this is about 2000 percent damage right here so her her incand her skill with with max stacks is going to do like nuclear like way more damage than we've ever seen in the game thus far uh, her s2 got more and more incandescent stacks her s3 after casting intro gains 25 percent attack for 20 seconds after two stacks so remember that she gets the little uni uh union unison buff that she can pretty much use outro intro skill twice and every time she does that she gets 25 percent attack for 20 seconds so this is very very strong she doesn't lose it when switching out so she's going to keep this as long as she can as long as she can keep using her intro skill she's going to maintain the 25 percent attack so very very huge buff for jinchi so 
I'm even more excited to, to pull for her. Uh, yeah, for you guys who don't know, I'm going to be streaming my Jinshi pulls. If you guys want to do some viewer pulls, let me know. Hit me on, uh, hit me up on the Discord. We can set that up. Moving on, Chang Li Forte Circuit with casting enhanced heavy attack. Damage received is reduced by 20%. I don't understand why they, why they did this. Maybe they, I don't know. She didn't need this. Um, you're not really planning on getting hit. So uh, it is what it is. They also reworked their R1s a little bit. So for Jinshi, her R1 increases all element damage by 12% when using intro skill. Gain 24% scale damage for 12 seconds. And let me see. Uh, when using skill, gain 24% for 12 seconds. So her skill is just going to do so much damage. It's like if you get her R1, it's going to just nuke everything pretty much. And then for Chang Li's R1, 588 base attack. Uh, 36.4 now it's 588 and the the 48.6 crit damage instead of attack so it's really really good now instead of getting a crit rate you get 12 attack which is really really bad i wish they would have just kept the crit rate i don't know why they're working their hardest to like nerf chang li i think people were more excited about chang li than they were about jinchi yeah i don't i don't know what they're doing and ua the new four cost echo we're going to get got a new effect summon ua leaping to the air dealing 46.64 spectre damage to the enemies bringing him into light thunder light thunder hits up to five times total dealing whatever spectre damage ua spirals downward and attacks running enemies dealing another 48.6 damage when casting echo skill gain blessing of time for 15 seconds when blessing of time is active resonance skill damage plus 16 percent so now they made it to where ua buffs scale damage which is really really strong especially for uh jinshi before he just did some damage before ua just did damage and that was it now you have a reason to use ua because ua is going to increase jinchi's skill damage they really want jinchi's skill damage to just nuke everything out of existence and then lastly when resonance skill hits a target the target will receive 16 percent spectre damage once every one second and it lasts for 15 seconds this is a lot of damage too oh my god so yeah ua is going to be insane is pretty much going to be the dreamless for rover or for havoc rover this is ua for jinchi so pretty much her own signature uh echo even though it doesn't specifically say yingxi it's made for her because she is she just does a lot of skill damage so all right another update that we got a few days ago is going to be chang li and jingxi's weapon changes uh chang li's weapon went from giving attack and a little bit of crit rate to giving uh crit damage and a little bit of attack on the effect so um not too bad i mean i always like crit value main stats on weapons and then attack increases on the effects is also very, very good. So essentially they swap the crit rate for the attack and then the attack on the main stat for crit damage, which they give off the exact same amount of crit value. But now you get it. Now you get it um, in the front. You don't have to go into the battle and do all that stuff. Uh, I think this is a slight nerf because I really, really like the crit rate. But crit damage is also good. Uh, personally, if you have the Emerald of Genesis, I don't really I don't really think summoning for this weapon is actually uh, worth it. However, a lot of people are going to be summoning for this weapon because they like Chang Li and then they want to optimize how Chang Li uh, performance is. So it's it's a really, really strong weapon. So don't don't get discouraged in summoning for it. It's a really, really strong weapon. You can stack a lot of resonance skill damage bonus uh, with this weapon right here. Now, as far as Jinji's weapon, it got a slight rework on the effect. Nothing on the main stats, which is good because already, we already like the crit rate on the main stat. We don't want that to change. But the effect, you used to have to attack four times and then you have to stack it that way. With the new effect, you get 12% damage bonus up front. And then every time you use the skill, you get 24 extra up to two times. So you, all you have to do is skill twice which makes this weapon really, really strong for Kalcharo, which, you know, I'm excited for, but it also makes it really easy for you to stack with when you're using Jinshi. So just to summarize what I've been uh, talking about, if you are a player like me who loves Kalcharo, loves the place of Kalcharo, Yin Lin is a fantastic pickup. So I would consider you summoning for Yin Lin. I actually went for Yin Lin and her weapons. So it's, you know, it is what it is. It is my play style. That's how I would like to play. If you are a player that focuses on Encore or if you use Chicha, Chang Li is going to be really, really strong because you're going to have two damage dealers and one of them buffing another damage dealer. Your damage downtime is going to be shortened by a lot by adding a second damage dealer that can also buff your team. And also, if you're missing uh, another damage dealer with an incredibly, incredibly high ceiling, then Yin Shi is probably going to be the best pick because she is by far going to do the most damage in the game as of right now. So, we're going to have to wait and see until Chang Li comes out. Maybe they rework a little bit more of her kit by the time she releases. But as of right now, and I am working on a calculation video for both Jinxi and uh, Chang Li. As of right now, Jinxi is looking like a top tier, the best DPS in the game. Hopefully this video helps you choose or make your decision a little bit easier. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And until next time, guys. See ya.